what's going on everybody it's your boy silver ranch here back for another video and a different style commentary you haven't seen these too often but honestly after listening to this last story and doing some research about it and seeing how stupid people are i really am starting to lose faith in humanity sometimes there are so many stupid people in the world there's so many people who are just chasing after clout like it's a drug to the point where my video really is starting to become like it feels like it's becoming more and more factual as the days go on and how insane people get for the most ridiculous reasons <sighs> so where does the story begin well it has to do with a moron his name is cameron heron yeah look at this face look at his face already he already has a punchable face he already looks like a douchebag to begin with but what did this guy do? Well, he got charged with manslaughter. Kill, he drag raced and going at over 100 miles an hour, killed a mother and a 21 month old child and got rightfully sentenced for 24 years. <laughs> but then, then this is, oh, this is where it gets fun. This is where, this is where you're about to see the inner just anger in me just come out here because I have rightful reasons to be this upset because this is what truly shows how stupid people have gotten in life. There has literally been not just TikToks, because if you want to find the TikToks, I'm going to leave a link to Optimus's video where he, he talks about the TikToks, he talks about all these people who are trying to defend this. I don't even know how you can defend this for being cute. You, you heard that right. For being cute. That is the most goddamn pathetic thing you may ever hear in your life but it, it gets it gets even more ridiculous than this i'm just trying to keep my words together here's the story tiktok users are pro protesting convicted killers innocence because he's quote quote unquote he's too cute oh oh is he too cute oh no y'all are so fucking dumb it's unreal all right i need to like compose myself a 21-year-old man has become the latest convicted criminal that internet users have been pining for, both him and his release. In April, Cameron Heron was sentenced to 24 years in prison after pleading guilty to vehicular man's homicide. Jessica Renziger Raubeno, I'm sorry if I butcher that name, I'm really sorry. And, and her 21-month-old daughter, Lilia, Lia? I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names were struck by Heron's car in 2018 while lawfully crossing a road in Tampa Bay. Heron was reported to be driving 102 miles per hour while racing another car. He was drag racing. Can we just talk about a few details here? This dumbass motherfucker pleaded guilty, so I don't even know how people are defending this to begin with. This moron pleaded guilty. Oh, Jesus. All right. Heron's account had gained over 2 million followers on TikTok, where fans have since been both claiming his innocence and pining over him. <sighs> this app hosts video edits of Heron hearing his, sentence, his sentencing in slow motion, which have gained a collective 2 billion views. I'm going to just let, let you see that for a second. 2 billion views. That's ridiculous. Along with comments advocating for his innocence. While others simply cited his apparent attractiveness, he doesn't deserve that. He's too cute, wrote one user. Fuck me. Although the sentencing was just four months ago, a popular online petition has emerged online counting the decision. I think 24 years is too much for him. He didn't do it on purpose. It was, an a it was just an accident. I want all you lovely people who think it's absolutely not right to jail the young man after 24 years, which is worse than death reads the petition description which claims to be from the united kingdom jesus fuck we only live once it continued with your help we can save him and we can get him another chance in court again as everywhere on social media are all taking are talking about giving him a second chance we should all help him because by staying in jail for 24 years the victim family won't get them back but this young boy has lost everything already being in jail it if this is not proof that TikTok is becoming a bigger cesspool than any other fucking social media app on the on the planet, I don't know what else needs to prove it at this point. Like this is fucking insane, and th this is true. If you go on Twitter, there is literally two hashtags, basically screaming justice for Heron. Heron is not guilty, and justice for Heron. 
Jesus Christ, TikTok and Twitter are fucking cesspools all the way through. It is unclear how the petition creators and its 28,000 signatures plan to utilize it to provide the, the another chance in court. The another chance in court. All right. But criminal barista Tim Kelly told Newsweek that it's unlikely to do so. Although he acknowledges that movements which mobilize using social media can have far-reaching impacts on the wider societal context in which cases can come to court, the social media outcry will not be able to overwrite the evidence seen by the jury only recently. My view is that the size of the social media stir over Mr. Heron's conviction, leaving aside the question of how many of the petitioners are in earnest, is unlikely to make, such a, make very much difference to this case. The jury in this case will have had the benefit of seeing all the available evidence explored in detail and scrutinized by professional lawyers and advocates. They will have received guidance from the judge on what tests they should apply, whether and how, for example, Mr. Heron's intent or lack of it would affect their decision. And crucially, in Florida, I'm butchering everything, I'm sorry, where Mr. Heron was convicted as in England and Wales, the jury are given strict instructions to reach their verdict only according to the evidence they see in court, and not through conducting their own proce procedural research. This will affect both the decision to convict and subsequent, subsequent sentence. It's for that reason that the court is best placed to make a determination as to whether Mr. Heron can be convicted. It has made its decision for Mr. Heron or his lawyers believe he has a legal basis for appealing it. There are channels, though, which they may do this. Folks, I mean, where does the common sense come around? When does a moment come where you slam your two fucking brain cells together? Or maybe your whole brain is goddamn smooth and you can't figure out left from right, or in this case, right from wrong. I mean, holy shit, this dude pleaded guilty. He killed two people. I don't give a shit if that he didn't ha he didn't mean to do it. No one means to kill anybody. Well, let me let me rephrase that. In the charge of manslaughter, no one means to kill someone. You just kill someone. That's the whole point of what manslaughter is. It's killing without intent. If you had intent, then it's murder, and you rightfully get charged with murder. Like in this case, where you rightfully get charged with manslaughter. But of course, all the dumbass people on TikTok, and I'm putting money, a lot of these people are around my age, slightly older or slightly younger, most are female. If you're a guy and you defend this, your fucking brain is smooth. You don't have brain cells to put in your head. Because you know what? I love when people say, well, go in his shoes and understand how he feels. Go in the fucking parents' shoes who lost their fucking kid and their wife. Do that. I would love you to fucking do that. You won't. You fucking won't, though. But your smooth fucking dumbass heads will sit there and defend someone who killed someone. That's ungoddamn believable to me. And the people who defend this, you are fucking trash and you're a waste of sperm. I'm sorry, you are a waste of sperm if you legitimately say those, those statements online and truly mean it. That's fucked up, but I don't care. I You can cancel me all you want. I would love people to cancel these people who... any Anybody who comes out and puts justice for Heron should get canceled, personally. Because that's fucking disgusting. This dude pleaded guilty. He's a dumbass. On every which way, and you still defend that. That's fucking sad. I'm gonna get out of here. If you, you wanna leave... You wanna watch the video, I have the Optimus video that talks about the TikToks, and you'll probably wanna hurt yourself as much as I did looking at them and want to hurt these people but obviously I won't do that because that's obviously called going to jail but that and I need TikTok I'd rather blow my eyes out than go on TikTok once and I'll leave a link to the article from Newsweek down below and I didn't give all the details if you want to see the other smaller details they're all there I just I can't be bothered I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Ranch Nation. I'm turning on that bell for notifications. And I'm out from the Ranch Nation. I love y'all. And I'm out. Peace.